crust, if you will, <laughs> of the potato skin pie that I made before it's put into the, being baked. These potatoes will all be cut up, these smaller, odd potatoes that I happen to have, and, and they'll be mashed with their skins. And this is made out of the regular potatoes, grated, a large amount of garlic, and also some um, tinned beets that we had from upstate that our friend made. So I was going to use bacon fat to um, put around, to, to uh, grease the pie tin, but I ended up using lamb fat because that's all I had. And I didn't want to get my fingers all cookie, so I just used a spoon to push it around. <laughs> so I figure it will melt into place. And now I'm just getting ready to um, pat this um, into the shape of a pie shell. So just push it with a spatula up around the edges. Make sure that we have enough on the bottom to um, make a good pad for the mashed part of the potato, which will be the next project. This, the making of this pie was inspired by the fact that we've started having movie night uh, with our friends who live at the, um, <clears throat> the Oyster Mansion down the road. And we've been choosing the movies and they just love them so much that they want us to keep choosing the movies <laughs> the two, that we've only done two so far. The first one was The Unsinkable Molly Brown, which was a wonderful movie from, um, that, that we've always loved. And Richard and Heather and I went to visit uh, Molly Brown's house in Denver and, uh, and the Brown Hotel. And we had a wonderful experience in the whole adventure. <laughs> and she quite was quite a character in the making of the West. And, um, and they love that movie, The Unsingable Molly Brown. And then uh, the second movie was um, Strictly Ballroom. And that movie, oh, it's just unforgettable. It's so, it's such a precious movie. Both of them were, and they were just so touched by them. They said they'd never seen anything like those movies. And I think a lot of people see a lot of crash and bang up movies or um, I, I don't know what different kinds, sci-fi, <laughs> I'm not sure what kinds, but um, they just couldn't get over these movies. So it was really fun. And then this one is called um, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. And it's a wonderful story about the island of Guernsey and any of the, all the Channel Islands really. We had friends who grew up in the Channel Islands, uh, Jersey, um, during the war, and their experiences were very similar. They were occupied by the Germans, and those uh, Channel Islands were beautiful islands for raising food. They had wonderful soil and grew all the vegetables for the United Kingdom. Not all, but many. <laughs> and um, they, so, so then when the Germans took over, the food went to the Germans, to the German soldiers, and all the, um, I, I don't know whether they were just the German soldiers that were occupying those islands, or whether it was sent out to the troops, but, um, so the people had no food, <laughs> and they were really struggling, so this potato peel pie was a part of their, um, their diet, <laughs> and uh, I've made it a little bit fancier than, like they never would have had lamb fat, that would have all gone to the Germans, and they wouldn't, uh, and this has got beet in it. Um, our friends uh, who tinned the beets for us um, gave them to us, and so we had those, and then we had potatoes, so it's potatoes and beets and garlic, and they probably wouldn't have had garlic, but maybe they would have had garlic. We do know that they had beets and potatoes in the um, in the pie, and that was basically all that it was. And they also didn't have things like uh, uh, spices. So um, 
I didn't put any salt and pepper in this. I might have made a mistake not doing so. Um, we'll see. <laughs> this will be my first time to try to make something like this. So there, that's how it looks. Then it'll, it looks like a pie crust. <laughs> so into the oven, it will go. I have some sweet potatoes in the oven because I always like to put something else in the oven when it's running because it um, uses the fuel better. I saved some of the pie, um, the, the, um, the, the part of the pie crust, if you will, um, to put on top. I'm not sure how. So that's enough for two pies. It's, it's about, oh, maybe, maybe three cups, a cup and a half for each. So we'll see what, what, what will, it will end up. I thought maybe I could form it into some kind of a lattice, but I don't think so. I think maybe it'll be more like an inner frame to um, get some more crispiness onto the potatoes. So I'm now going to cut up the potatoes and boil them and mash them with a tiny bit of milk. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to have to use some butter or cream or something um, that they wouldn't have had that. They, they wouldn't have had butter at that time. Um, in, during the occupation. As you can see, I'm chopping up the potatoes smaller than what they really need to be, but um, I wanted the, the skins, because we're mashing them with the skins on them, I, I didn't want the skins to be big chunks that kind of get, <laughs> um, you know, just too much to chew on. And I, I thought it would be nicer to keep the skins small, so this is how I did it by just cutting up the potatoes a lot. They'll also boil, of course, a lot faster. So I'm just using what I have. The red potatoes are the potatoes that I, I uh, harvested last summer um, upstate. And the regular potatoes are, are just ones from the $1.50 bags <laughs> at the market. So, um, I always have plenty of, of, of potatoes, so this is a perfect thing to, to make with them. <laughs> oh, and I didn't tell you that um, the reason I'm making these is one is one pie, one potato peel pie, is for me to give to Emily, who used to be a boat boy girl here on Yankee and has remained a very good friend. And she um, helps me with my hair. She colors my hair. <laughs> she's not trained in that, but she's just so wonderful. She just has figured it out actually better than anybody has. She does more research. Um, she finds the best uh, quality of colors, which we've never had any time to do any research on before. And she just doesn't, and, and she does it in about an hour. It's just incredible. Um, she, the speed and the order that she has. She has everything all set out before I get there. So there's no time wasted. And it, it's just, it's really incredible. So I always try to um, make things for her that um, would just help to contribute to her efforts there. Um, so this, and, and also, often I try to do some kind of a savory pie and a sweet pie so that um, they have good meals um, at lunchtime and dinner. The other pie I'm bringing to our movie night. <laughs> It'll be really fun. I always make a kind of picnic dinner even though it's winter, um, out of just whatever we have. And it has always been beautiful and fun. But this time I thought it needs to be just as ruddy as the movie. <laughs> so we are actually making part of the movie title um, for for dinner. And that'll be um, tomorrow night. So one, one will go with us when we go into church today to Manhattan. Because we... Um, we try not to go across the bridges and tunnels 
except on Wednesdays and Sundays when we go anyway for church because it's pretty expensive these days going over uh, across the those um, in those tunnels and, and bridges not all the bridges but the one from Staten Island and um, anything coming over from New Jersey and then the tunnels and so forth so uh, so I, I'm trying to get it ready in time for church and the thing I've, I've been kind of quiet because I I just wanted to give Richard not that he would exactly wake up <laughs> if I if I made too much noise but just to be um, give him a good rest was 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 my idea in being a little bit quiet this morning but the light has come now and Richard's up and preparing he's actually getting more fuel for the cooker it ran out of fuel so he's he's changing that up right now oh since I um, <clears throat> had cooked these these um, sweet potatoes in the bottom of the oven I think I'll use these and even though they would never have had a I don't think they ever would have had a sweet potato in the island of um, Guernsey in at that time they're not from uh, England <clears throat> or Europe so <clears throat> excuse me so um, it'll make it but it'll be fun because I thought I could do it in layer in a layers you know two layers and just to make it more festive and since we have all these sweet potatoes I'm just going to mash those up and we can use some of those for that and some for our other meals Got to put the um, egg. It was supposed. To, I was going to put some egg in it, in the um, the crust, if you will, to help bind it together. And I forgot. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting um, a layer inside of a couple of eggs, which will help to bind it together. It's actually quite quite sturdy. A anyway. So I think it's fine. I already put one of the pies into the oven with the potato. And I used, um, I used, I ended up using, I wasn't, at first I was going to use the sweet potato and then I thought, oh, it could be such a pretty um, relationship. So in a minute, I'll show you what that's like. <laughs> and then this left leftover, I put egg in there, and that will make a, a heftier frame around the outside. I think it's gonna be pretty in the end. <laughs> Here it is, all packed away to go to Emily to thank her for helping me with my hair. She does such a wonderful job. And doesn't it look just wonderful? It's so delicious. Okay. This is the second um, pie, and <laughs> I forgot to, I didn't forget, I couldn't. My hands were all gucky because I was trying to put this last part that I held out of what I was used for the pie shell, which is the um, beets, the grated beets, grated onion, grated garlic, grated um, potato, and also it has a teen, teeny tiny bit of... Um, uh, egg, a little bit of egg in it, which um, gives helps it to sort of stick together when it's baked. And so the shell underneath here <clears throat> is this very same thing, but it's already cooked. And this, when it goes in to be kind of finished cooking, not really that it needs to cook because the potatoes and the yams are already cooked. And so this just needs to get all crispy. And you'll see when I take it out, it'll look lovely. And then I, um, I put the potato in, into the shell before I did this edge, before I did this edging. I put the and I smoothed it all around the edges and I um, hollowed it out in the middle so that I could put the, the sweet potato in the center. You can sort of see a little ditch around here where the sweet potato fits in. And then I made a 
um, ice cream scoop of sweet potato on the top. And I, um, I put on here, on the little top round part here, on the dome, <laughs> I put um, some curry that's made especially at home up in the northern part of Africa where north, um, the northeast part or west part of Africa where our daughter and son-in-law live and it's all made at home and there are lots of chunks in it of different kinds of um, spices and I had to fish around to find a kind just find some dust to put on here I just thought it it kind of adds a zip of flavor and I didn't want to put it over everything I just thought I'd try it on on that little dome area but anyway this will all get nice and crispy and when it comes out oh and just at the end I'll put little cubes of butter around here in this little moat around the dome and that gets all melted like a, a buttery um, moat <laughs> so you'll see that stage also okay it's going into the oven now I think I'm going to do I'm going to put it on a on a tray <laughs> so that it, it um it doesn't drip in the oven. It's a sort of a pizza type tray, I guess. So that it doesn't drip into the oven in the process of crisping up. <laughs> there we go. Want to come in and take a look as I put it in? There we go. Oh, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be delicious. I just put the butter moat in. And also I did something else whilst you weren't watching, which was I took some egg white and beat it up till it was a bit frothy and put it around the outer edge of the pie shell that we added on to the top. So it has a beautiful little gloss now. And look, it has this lovely little, a bit of a sheen to it. Do you see how, how pretty it looks? I think it looks prettier with that little bit of a sheen. And then here's the moat. And the potato peel pie is complete. Do you see the sheen? I don't know if you can see it in this light. But it has a little gloss and it's it's hard and crispy. Well, off we go. Let's go. Let's go watch a movie.